Hi, my name is Doris Charest, and I have books for you on drawing and the best books that I like about drawing. So if you like this video, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have some more. But these are just fun books that you can use as a reference for your drawing. So let's dive in. We're going to check out some drawing books and here they are. The very first ones are just the classic drawing books on how to. So this is drawing by Bertrand, uh, The Art of Drawing. So it covers the history of drawing and it covers drawing principles, different techniques, ways to use drawing. It's very, very basic, but a good reference. This one is also uh, very basic. This is one that was referred quite often when you're taking drawing classes and gives you a little bit of a history, gives you a little bit of technique on how to do basic things, basic figures and how they're done. It's just your classic book with lots of examples. Just a good reference. Get it from the library. This is another good reference. It is just basic drawing examples, different things you can do. It's like your total beginner book. Figures, how to do them. It, I like this one better than the others, simply because there's more reference and more examples that are useful to me. And it just covers your tools, different ways of using color. It really delves into a lot of different things by the end. And this is another basic book, Drawing Handbook. This is one that's also referred quite often when you take drawing classes. It gives you a little history of drawing, different examples of masters that do drawings, master artists all kinds of ideas this way, expressionistic drawing, uh, figures, basic e examples of all kinds of drawings and different drawing styles. A very basic book, a good reference, drawing handbook. Here's another very basic book and you just go through the basics, same thing. Different master artists, uh, different ways of drawing, different styles, good reference, perspective, uh, different classical examples of perspective. Every artist, every author, I should say, that does these books has a different point of view and different references. So it's good to go through them and see all these examples. So here's more. And as you keep going, there's more samples and ways of doing things. Again, a very basic book. Facial expressions. Uh, the artist complete guide to facial expressions. I like this book. It's really helped me teach classes. So you go through the different figures, ways to do a skull and how a skull is actually formed. How to look at a skull, I guess. How to look at your chin. How to look at your eyes and the shape. It really explains things in great detail. I like this book. It's helped me a lot. So this is a good reference book, a good book to keep around and just use as needed. So this is, it's nice. It's a nice book. It's worth getting. It gives you all kinds of references and it's really, really good. That's by Gray Fag Fagan. Anyways, I'll write this down at the end. One of the fun books in drawing that I have is this one. 52 Creative Exercises to Help You Draw. This is a great one to use with kids. So there's different examples of drawings and then different ways to, different styles to get going in drawing a cat, drawing a giraffe, figuring out shapes, 
breaking down a photo and to use as shapes. Because actually, a uh, camel is not that easy to draw. So how to break down these uh, shapes and turn them into drawings. But they're not necessarily realistic drawings. They're fun drawings. And these are, this is a great reference if you're teaching kids or if you want to just have a fun time. Mostly how to have a fun time. So you can do these exercises, but do them in your own way and just have fun doing them. Here, for example, you draw with ink instead of a pencil. So the result is totally different and a lot of fun. So that's another fun exercise you can do. Touches the figure, touches abstraction and different shapes. It touches master artists. This is a string exercise on how to abstract objects and end products that you can do. These are really fun. They're really good exercises if you're bored one day and you'd like to try them out. Um, this is a way to kind of uh, get the play element back into your work. So creating different fun kind of drawings getting looser and looser and as you keep going these are just fun things that you can do that will relax you give you time to uh, just play and just enjoy the drawing process as opposed to trying to capture something that's really realistic and here's some samples of things that have been done using some of these. So this, this is a fun book and it's a great way to just relax and have fun with your drawing. Drawing with Imagination is also a good book. This is by Bert Dodson and again we'll go through the basic information, scribbling, having fun, uh, just different ways of approaching a subject. You can approach it using, draw a subject with using shapes. You can define a subject different ways. You can create designs using a shape. That's a really fun exercise too. And creating text, that's really fun. There's all kinds of things that are covered in here. There's also your traditional how to draw a bag, how to draw different uh, mechanical things, adding uh, elements like insects. These are just different exercises that you probably wouldn't touch in a regular drawing book. And it has great samples and lots of ideas if you're having a stuck moment with your drawing and you can just keep going you use references and then you can turn these clouds into imaginary animals when you're sitting there and laying down watching clouds you see shapes now you're going to draw what you see in the clouds there's uh, approaching and abstracting objects there's fun objects you can create. There's imaginary landscapes that you cre can create. Imaginary figures. This is a really comprehensive book with lots of creative ideas for drawing. So we combine different types of subjects matter together and see what happens. I like this book. It's a really fun book and i'm just gonna go a little faster and look what you can get you can get some really interesting work and it's just a fun book with a lot of different approaches that you can use to drawing that you don't get in other books so here we have buildings and creating an imaginary uh, letter using just things that you see around you creating an imaginary scene with cats. There's lots and lots of different 
really creative ideas in here. And like most things at the end, there's samples. And it's just a fun way to kind of just rethink drawing and how it's done. This is experimental drawing. Again, a different approach. So you have your classical approach with contour drawing, different approaches, and it covers the basics. As most books, they cover the basics first and then they get into the experimental part. So this is a different way to approach drawing as well. So you have your classical approach, then you have a different approach that you can test out. Different techniques that you can learn. And it, there's a lot on texture as well. And as you know, I like texture. So this is a book that I've liked. And just different ways to approach an item. So this saw, for example, you could draw it the way it is, the way you see it, but then you can also create effects that gives you the idea of what the saw does. So these are all different samples that you can test, you can try out. And it's very interesting how you can approach different subject matter. So it gives you just more ideas on how to approach drawing because drawing isn't just capturing the realism it's also about creating emotion and creating an effect and this is a good book for that so again this is experimental drawing by robert uh copes copes copalis copalis um, Sorry, I'm not very good with other names. And here's one for color drawing. So this is using colored pencil. If you really like color drawing, you don't have to stick to black and white. You can go into color drawing like this one. And this is a very tra traditional book. It covers very realistic elements on color drawing, how to use color pencils, how to arrange different objects and subjects, how to work with it, how to use your pencils to create different effects. It's a really nice beginner book. You can also create uh, imaginary pieces, pieces that are a little more on the creative side, how to create textures, creating imaginary elements, how to do stripes so they're interesting. It covers a lot of detail and it just covers just about everything you ever wanted to know about colored pencil and very realistic ones. What I would do is I would use this one and I would combine it with some of the creative exercises and you can get some really fun projects going. This is for people who love color. So this is just perfect for anyone that loves color. So this is Bet, uh, oh, I can't pronounce that one. So I'll write it down, make sure that you get it. So Color Drawing Workshop. So these are my favorite books. Uh, all you need to do now is look them up, combine them, See what you can do with them. We'll see you in the next video.